Support for WMNF comes from our members and the Capitol Theater presenting Otmar Liebert and Luna Negra November 12th at thecap.org has ticket information. And from the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio, this is the live music showcase brought to you by WMNF Tampa and listeners like you. I am your host today, Millie, and in the studio we have Rosewood Creek. Hey guys, good to have you today. Nice to be here. <laughs> yeah. And you know, before we get to know our band, I would love to start it off with a song. What do you have for us today? Uh, this is one off the new CD called American Sojourn, and this song is My People. I see violence everywhere. I turn and I cannot bear. I see children's soul as we ignore the old. It's got to stop, I swear. We are here for more keeping score with the monuments we built and we lose sight of what is right like following God's within the law said hey hey people want you to love one another every day come what may like sisters and brothers hey hey people want you to live together resistance in my hand a forsake me never oh We be so blind that the world manipulate our mind. You know, I look to the youth and they can seek the truth, maybe answers they will find. We got to see through the lie, keep asking why people are starving still. Like a camel trying to fit through the eye of the needle, that man's had his fill in the Lord said, Hey, hey, people, won't you love one another? Every day, come what may, like sisters and brothers. Hey, hey, people, want you to live together in peace and love, the essence of harmony forever. Who would not lie? Put justice first, quench our thirst, and dry the tears we've cried. You know, killing is wrong, has been all along, and it don't matter why. It's I am at the door saying, Stop the war with peaceful words from on high. Say, Hey, hey, people, won't you love one another? Every day, come what may, like sisters and brothers. Hey, hey, people, won't you to? Live together in peace and love, the essence of harmony forever. Whoa, my people. Listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase, and in the studio today we have Rosewood Creek. Hey guys, thank Hi. you so much for being here today and joining us. Thanks for having us. Loving it. And I want to get to know the the band, so let's go ahead and do a roll call. And let's start with Marty. Marty. Yes. yes. Let let everybody out there in Radio Land know who you are. Tell us a little bit about you. What instruments you play? Okay. Let's see. Well, I'm, uh, I'm Marty, and uh, this is my lovely wife here, Bonnie, on the bass guitar. And uh, uh, let's see, I. Uh, 
run a little music school in St. Pete and uh, been playing guitar, gosh, all my life, it seems like uh, 45 years or so. I also dabble in the mandolin and the fiddle, but uh, mainly guitar. Um, and that's what you're playing here today. Yes, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. mandolin on one song. But. Okay, well that was Marty Fouts, and right next to him playing the bass, we got Bonnie Kessler Fouts. Kessler Fouts, yep, that's uh -uh. me. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this has just been a whole lot of fun being part of this band, and it's fun to be here today. Um, gosh, by day I'm a professor at St. Petersburg College, so that's what I do with the rest of my time. Nice, what do you teach? Psychology classes. Oh, wow, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> I hope you're not psychoanalyzing me no, now, okay? <laughs> no, it's really not that easy. <laughs> Well, good to staff. know. Well, I'm sure you use some of the uh, some of your psychology background in songwriting. I am one of the only ones in the band that doesn't write songs. Really? Yeah. And yet you have all this fuel just sitting right it's there. Untapped. It's untapped. Oh, hmm. <laughs> interesting. Well, let's move on to the next person. And here on next to uh, Bonnie, we have Colin Ward. Hi, Millie. How you doing? Uh, yes, I'm Colin Ward. Um, I play guitar, and I have. As you can, if you're watching the video, you can see I have several with me today, and I'd, I'm one of the songwriters. We actually have uh, three people in the band who write songs, and most of our most of our songs are original, though we do some covers. And uh, the first one you heard was one of Marty's, and um, you're going to hear a mixture. And the, the next one we're going to do is one of mine, by the way. So uh, we're having a lot of fun. Great, and I know hidden away in the drum room in the back. Can you hear me back there? Yes, I can. Ah. Can, you, can you hear me? Yes, I can definitely hear you. We have Raymond Solomon. Yep. Ah, tell me a little bit about you and your musical background. Well, I've been playing drums since 19... I, I don't even know if I should say. Since 1966. And, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I'm literally... I, the, the drum set we're hearing is the drum set from 1966. Nice. Age to perfection. Yes, it is. It's, still, <laughs> it's getting better all the time, hopefully. <laughs> That's a, some good wine you got there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Uh, so you've been playing for a long time. And actually, uh, you haven't been with the band as long as they've been around. That's right. I was lucky enough to meet Colin last year in downtown St. Pete. He was playing with an old, another band. And uh, I, I saw immediately how fantastic he was. So we exchanged numbers. And I said, if you ever need a drummer, and I was lucky enough to uh, be around when they needed a drummer. Nice. We'll talk about being in the right place at the right time. That's right. <laughs> now, I know you guys are usually a five-piece band. Today, you're with us only as a four. You're missing a member, Shauna Vercher. Yes. Right. Okay, so what does Shauna do? Shauna is our lead singer. So she usually stands where I'm standing right now. So uh, we've worked up our set list to kind of uh, accommodate just the four of us. Uh, but we're sure missing her and uh, next week on the Americana Fest Shauna will be back with us But she is our lead vocalist and she does a little bit of percussion. Well Shauna you're here with us, with us in spirit And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week at the Americana Fest which is happening over at Skipper's Smokehouse I'll give you more details on that later, but you know what I'm itching for another song. What do you have for me? This is one of mine. It's called how does your heart feel now? Well, I'm gonna stop you there so how does your heart feel now? It feels a little nervous, but basically good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, give it to us. <laughs> Draw me in, then you spit me out You can't live with me, can't live without You love me when you want to, but not all the time So I found someone who does now, can I get you off my mind? How does your heart feel now? You see us on the street, so you know she loves me Walking in the park, she's thinking of me Knows I'm more than good enough to keep me in tow I think a lot about her, but I can't let you go How does your heart feel now? If you told me you want me forever in a day My head would do battle with my heart in the fray If you came back knocking and said, please let me in my head would sing away, but my heart would win. How does your heart feel now?
giving up on you, you drove me crazy. No more time for you, my new love's amazing. Sometimes you needed me, and then you'd forget. I'm clear in my mind, but it hasn't happened yet. How does your heart feel now? You told me you want me forever and a day. My head with you battle with my heart in the fray. You came back knocking and said, please let me in. My head would say no way, but my heart would win. How does your heart feel now? Listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase in the studio, we have Rosewood Creek. And I just want to say thanks to all who gave during our summer membership drive. If you missed the drive, you can still we can still use your support because we have a way to go to make our goal. So please give us now by calling 813-239-9663 or you can visit WMNF.org and make a donation through there. So thank you for supporting Community Conscious Radio. And so Let's we we have Rosewood Creek. You guys are a St. Pete based band, is that correct? Yes, we are. But you're not all originally from St. Pete because I hear accents. You do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll start. Uh, I hear an accent from Colin. Colin, you're not originally from St. Pete. No, I've been uh, living all over the U.S. for a very long time. But I was born in England ah. and uh, moved over here when I was a kid. Okay. But uh, I've lived in the Midwest and out west and been in Florida for quite a while. Though. Very good. How many years have you been in Florida now? Uh, around 15. 15 years? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Well, how, where are you from, Bonnie? I am a native of St. Petersburg. You are a native. And Marty, are you a native as well? Uh, no. Uh, 1988. I moved Ooh. to this wonderful burg and uh, just wouldn't be anywhere else. Love St. Pete, Tampa, the, the music scene, the WMNF. Nobody else has it. <laughs> Great. And of course, we haven't forgotten you, Raymond. Are you originally from St. Pete? Uh, I am. was born in Connecticut, Danbury Hospital, but now, then I live, grew up in uh, New Jersey. All right. Oh, uh, I hear the accent there. <laughs> I, I, I thought you had the accent. I, I, well, I do have an accent. I, that's, that's true. <laughs> and, um, and I moved to Florida in 2001, and I've been in St. Pete for a couple of years now, and I love it. And uh, one of the great things when we moved to Florida was finding this station, which was like amazing because we came from New York and we had a lot of good stations there. And m and was one of the great things about moving here. Great, great. Well, thanks for being a longtime listener. And it's great to really have you guys here on the show today. And of course, you know me, where today we are playing songs from the album and that's American Sojourn. Did I say that right? Sojourn. Sojourn. And, um, I want to give away a CD because they have been so wonderful to give us an autographed copy of the new album that's not out yet. Is that correct? It's, uh, it's snuck, snuck out a little bit, but we're having a CD release party in July, so not officially. Ah, okay. That's the CD release party at the Hideaway Cafe. That's correct. Okay, well, I'll give you guys more information on that soon, but... I'm not going to just give away the CD so easily. So I like asking a trivia question. And since we know how long they've been here in Florida, it kind of gives us an idea of maybe how long they've been together. So I'm looking for an exact number here. So if you give us a call right now, the number is 813-239-9663. Steve is waiting on, uh, on there to take your call and answer, how long has Rosewood Creek been together? How long has Rosewood Creek been been together. I'm looking for an exact number here, guys, so just give us a call. That's 813-239-9663, and while we're waiting, let's have another song. Okay. I'm going to do another song that Colin wrote, and I am honored to sing. I, sh I should add that uh, <laughs> I had a co-writer on this named Kim Keim, and um, Bonnie's uh, going to sing it for us. What song is this? Appalachia. Appalachia. Daddy's up at 4 a.m., takes Ma to work 10 miles away, praying his pickup will run a few more years, wondering if Goose 
listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase and in the studio we have Rosewood Creek. Thanks again guys. I hear you have very high energy shows. Is that correct? We like to make them high energy. We, uh, we shoot for playing at uh, festivals and things like that and we like to um, keep people's attention by being energetic and making it a fun show. It's even better if we can get them up and dancing. Ooh, see, that's what I like. <laughs> Good to dance for. <laughs> I love it. And so we have a couple shows actually coming up. So if you're interested in getting out there and dancing with Rosewood Creek, you should come out to one of them. On June 18th, they're going to be at WMNF Presents Americana Fest, and that's going on at Skipper's Smokehouse. We also have July 9 at Poisonville Music Series in Wesley Chapel. Tell me a little bit about that one. Well, it's an interesting one. It's at the Sleep Inn Hotel in uh, Wesley Chapel. They've been having a series. I think it's monthly. It might be more often than that, where they bring in a band or a solo performer and uh, present a concert and then uh, do some videoing afterwards. So um, a lot of the uh, 
a lot of our friends actually from the, the area have been playing that. So we're really looking forward to it. It'll be a first for us, though, so we, we can't tell you too much about it, but come on out. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's for anybody who's near the Wesley Chapel, Florida area. And, of course, let's not forget, July 23rd, the CD release party over at the Hideaway Cafe. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are planning for the CD release party. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we promise we'll play uh, all the songs from our new CD, American Sojourn. We'll play some other material as well. And uh, we love playing at the Hideaway because it is um, arguably one of the best listening rooms around, uh, 1756 Central Avenue in St. Pete. So uh, we've played there before. I've played there for a long, long time off and on. And we'd love to see people come out for that. Sounds great. Well, uh, hopefully I can make it out to the CD Realist Party. Sounds like it'd be fun. <laughs> and, of course, those of you who can't make it out June or July, they do have a show coming up in August, August 5th, and that's first Friday at Tarpon Springs. You guys doing inside of a venue, or is this out in the, the live stage outside on the street? Uh, this is outside on the street, and um, this is, I believe this is the first year that uh, Tarpon Springs has had a first Friday uh, event like this, so... Um, they they have themes for the different uh, months, and uh, evidently we fit the theme in August, so <laughs> that's when we'll be there. Very good. <laughs> All right, well, we'll definitely have to check it out, and I'm still waiting. I haven't received a call. Well, I haven't received an answer from Steve whether anyone's answered the correct thing for mm -hmm. how long has Rosewood Creek been together. Well, I'm going to give you guys a hint if you haven't called to answer yet, and I'm also going to give you the number. That's 813-239-9663. And my hint is, it's more than a baby. <laughs> okay? But less than, well, what's it less than, guys? Mm, give it, let's give our listeners a hint. Less than a year. Less than a year, but more than a baby. Oh, you, if you don't get it there, I mean, I, we just gave it away to you, you know. Or you can just go online, and you can actually find out more information about how long they've been together and more about their personal history as musicians and as a band at rosewoodcreekband.com. That's R-O-S-E-W-O-O-D-C-R-E-E-K-B-A-N-D.com. And, of course, we can get all the information on all the upcoming shows there. So if we get a pop-up secret show anywhere... That'd be the place to go and find out where they're playing next. Or if you, hey, if you want to book them, give them a call. That's uh, that'd be where you get all the booking information too. That would be great. <laughs> so I have another CD to give away, but until we give that first one away, I'd like for you guys to take the first one away. So right after this next song, I'll have another CD for you guys. What song are you gonna do for us this time? Uh, this is one that uh, I wrote called uh, "Mixed Blessing." Mm -hmm. And this was one we recorded over at uh, Zen Recording with Steve Connolly, our, our friend and one of my guitar heroes. Nice. <laughs> it's hard to keep your chin up. These are strange times indeed you do your best to stay tough try not to bleed you do your best to block out the noise and try and do like you should it's been the same since i left illinois well i, I knew i left for good always be a stranger but you try hard to smile don't fade away, at least not for a while. It's a mixed blessing of blending in, staying true to your heart. Keep your mind and heart wide open, it's a good place to start. by like weeks sometimes you hardly see them pass it's hard to see but he knows to the grindstone stuck in the morass there comes a time when you've had enough you finally lift your head and see a friendly face smiling back then your heart set free well 
always be a stranger, but you try hard to smile. Memories don't fade away, at least not for a while. Let's a mixed blessing or blending in, staying true to your heart. Keep your mind and heart wide open, that's a good place to start. wonderful supporters and volunteers during our summer drive. Live Music Showcase is a representation of the local music community. Your support helps that community grow stronger. If you didn't get a chance to make a donation during drive, you can donate now on WMNF.org or call Steve at 813-239-9663. Also, you can watch tonight's show and also other shows that we've had going on here on our YouTube channel. That's right. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out. So make sure to watch the Live Music Showcase on YouTube. Search for WMNF885 FM all together and make sure to subscribe. I also want to give a special thanks to everyone who helps make this show possible. We have a, an amazing crew. It switches out every so often. And today, our sound mixer is Pam Robinson. Thank you, Pam. Uh, she's being assisted by Steven Schuler and Yumiko Thomas. Our camera crew today is Allison Hickey, Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom Connors, and Marcy Connors. Our producer is Steve Arduengo. Our associate producer is Mildred Matos. But hey, that's me. And today I'm known as Millie. And if you want more information on me and see some photos, you can also go to Millie Vision. That's at Millie Vision on Instagram, Twitter, you know, the whole social sphere. So just look for it on there. And I'm ready to give out another CD. So I'm just going to ask another trivia question. If you don't know the number by now and you don't have it saved on your phone, you can call 813-239-9663. And the question is, how many instruments does Marty Faust play? Hmm. How many instruments does Marty play? Well, he's got, he's got a few instruments here. I, I was going to ask from somebody else for, uh, for Colin, but he's got way too many. <laughs> you guys, it would take you forever to list them all. But this one's uh, not too bad. You guys should be able to answer or go to the website. That's rosewoodcreekband.com. You can see photos there. You can actually read about the band. The answers are right in front of you guys. And that's what rosewoodcreekband.com. And vocals does not count. Although he does sing. Vocals is not one of those instruments, so we're looking at things he plays with his fingers. All right, so while we wait for an answer, I want to do a rapid question series. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to ask 10 random questions. 
You guys, have, they haven't even heard these. They have no idea. They're, they're not prepared. This isn't like a list they can give me. And we're just gonna we're gonna go around. Colin, you'll be the first to answer. We'll go okay. down, and then we'll go into the drum room. So the thing here is just just name the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, keep it clean. Keep it clean, guys. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite color? Blue. Green. Green. <laughs> Red. Red. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What is the last album that you bought? Oh, gosh. Ooh. That's a tough one. Oh. You don't have to go through your credit card statement. This should come <laughs> naturally. You know, you've been wanting that album. What was it? Uh, tr Tracker by Mark Knopfler. Oh, interesting. Mm. Mine was uh, Jason Isbell's latest CD. Okay. Is he Jason Isabel? Jason Isbell. He used to be with the Drive By Truckers. Am I right, Marty? Yeah. Oh. He's coming to the Bay Area in October. Interesting. Uh, most messed up by the old 97. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Raymond? Well, today I picked up a used copy of the Beatles Anthology 3. Nice. That's a good find. <laughs> Are you a morning person or a night owl? I kind of... I kind of burn both ends. It's hard to know. Uh, <laughs> it depends on what day it is, I guess. Marty? Oh, uh, uh, a morning person, actually. Yeah. I'm a night owl, and I shouldn't be because I teach 8 o'clock classes this summer. <laughs> How do you, coffee, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Colin? I'm, I'm ready for lunch by 8 o'clock, so I'm, I'm an early morning person. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not by choice, really. Here's to you, early risers. <laughs> now, what's your favorite pizza topping? Uh, veggies. Veggies. Any particular veggie? Mm, I like peppers and mushrooms. Mushrooms, Okay. Anchovies. Oh, wow. That's, a, that's a, an odd one there. I like that, though. <laughs> I like pepperoni. Pepperoni. <laughs> garlic. Garlic. Well, you know, every pizza has to have garlic. Mm. <laughs> What's your favorite word, Raymond? Happy. Happy. <laughs> okay. Peace. Marty? Peace. Love. Mm -hmm. Guitar. Mm. Mm. Colin, mm -hmm. what's the last book you read? Oh, Lord. Um, a friend of mine uh, is named Russ Hall, and he's a writer that I uh, went to high school with. And um, he wrote one called Gone to Heck in Texas, which I just read. <laughs> 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 or something similar. <laughs> okay, okay. So you'd have to look by author then since we can't say the name of the mm -hmm. book on the air. <laughs> um, Bonnie? Yes. Mine was A Manual for Cleaning Women by Lucia Berlin. Hmm. She reads a lot of books. Well, I belong to a book club That's at true. Wine That's Madonna right, yeah. downtown St. Pete. Ah, so. I've been there. Good yeah. place. <laughs> I, I, on the other hand, don't have can't sit still long enough to read a book, but it was probably uh, Lake Wobegon Days by <laughs> Kara Zinke. Okay. Well, I'm reading The Blue Zones, which is about um, places where people, oh, an inordinate amount of people live to over 100 years old. Mm. I want to live there and have that mm. special power. Well, <laughs> it's the Blue Zones. Just get that book. And the you'll Blue Zones. Yeah. Okay. Now, puppies or kittens? Puppies. 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 Huh? Puppies. Okay. Raymond? E either. Either. Okay. I like that answer. And what is something you never get tired of? Anything. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I'd, I'd go with coffee, too. Mm. Raymond? Well, there's a few things, but... Uh, Just the number one. Red wine? I don't okay. know. Okay. What was the worst nickname you had as a kid? Uh, salamander. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine what could they could do with Marty Fouts. Okay. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Mine was Bonnie Odor. Oh. Because my name started with B-O. Oh, kids, kids are so nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Colin? I'm going to pass on that one. I don't really <laughs> remember one. Uh, okay. One. Last question. Cake or pie? Oh, Cake. 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 Raymond? Pie. Pie. Ooh, okay. So we see we have different personalities here. And you know what? I'm ready to do another song. Let's do it, All guys. Heading down south with the keys on my mind Fernandina came into my sight But the clouds opened up and the roads turned to rivers Thought I'd better stop for the night Flash flood, 
crooked river St. Mary looking down Flash flood Crooked river Staying here by Cumberland Sound I'd stay in Georgia till the weather got better Keys will be there for a while Then ferry tours from the city to the island May never drive another highway mile Flash flood, crooked river St. Mary looking down Flash flood, crooked river Staying here by Cumberland Sound But then when winter came and the wind began to blow Tourists didn't want to take the boat So I headed south again Till the sun warmed up the land Lit a match and burned my winter coat Flash flood, crooked river St. Mary looking down Flash flood, crooked river Staying here by Cumberland Sun Crooked River St. Mary looking down Flash flood Crooked River Goodbye to Cumberland Sound Flash flood Crooked River St. Mary looking down Flash flood Crooked River Goodbye to Cumberland Sound Goodbye to Cumberland Sound Goodbye to Cumberland Sound WMNF88.5's live music showcase in the studio. We have Rosewood Creek. And once again, I want to give thank you to the crew that helps make this show happen. Mixing it up on the board today, we got Pam Robinson being assisted by Stephen Schuler and Yumiko Thomas. Our video crew is Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom Connors, Marcy Connors, and Allison Hickey. Your producer is Steve Arduengo, and I'm your host, Millie, Millie Vision on the social sphere. You guys can find me there. That's Millie with a Y Vision with an S. And of course, Steve is waiting to take your call if you're looking to make a donation or if you want to answer a question. Just call us. That's 813 239 9663. And of course, if you are loving this music as much as we are today, you can get more information on Rosewood at rosewoodcreekband.com. And, of course, their next upcoming show is actually June 18. That's next week for the WMNF Presents Americana Fest. And that's happening over at Skipper's Smokehouse. And they'll be playing there with a few other acts. You guys should definitely check it out. And, of course, there you can actually make a donation. Okay. And I know we have probably some tickets that you can take away if you make a donation to the live music showcase but you know what i'm gonna let you go ahead and give us a call and ask steve about that that's 813-239-9663 and i'm just itching for another song uh, we're ready to play one <laughs> All right. what's this next one marty this one is called long road to happiness oh i like that name Well, it's a long road to happiness Life's a 
too hard to figure out, I guess Why do we say no when we should say yes? It's a long road to happiness You know this should be easier than it seems Man, that little light can be hard to find But I hear what you say, but I like my dreams And I'll follow them if you don't mind And it's a long road to happiness Life's a little hard to figure out, I guess Why do we say no when we should say yes? It's a long road to happiness Like a shot in the dark, hitting right on the mark, man. I'm rolling down some big in the punch. Well, I'm walking a while, hoping I'll go high. I want to do it all before I'm done. And it's a long road to happiness. Life's a little hard to figure out, I guess. Why do we say no when we should say yes? It's a long road to happiness. to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase. I love the name of that song. It is so happy. <laughs> and that is also one of the songs that is on the upcoming CD, which is soft release right now, but the CD release part is coming up. And can you say that name for me? It's American... Sojourn. Sojourn. American Sojourn. Yes, American right. Sojourn. All right. And I do want to give a... Let me say that one. Oh, one moment. Congratulations to Glenn Davis. He's one of our winners today. Congratulations on taking away American Sojourn. You'll get that in the mail. And it's autographed by everyone <coughs> in the band. So you have your very own autograph copy before the CD release party. And that CD release party is going to be happening at the Hideaway Cafe in downtown St. Petersburg on July 23rd. So enjoy that. We still have one CD left. So give us a call, 813-239-9663. And I'm looking at your set list here. Your next song sometimes sleep don't come easy we were just talking about like <laughs> <laughs> night owls or morning person right. <laughs> for the right. insomniacs for the insomniacs you know what let's do that song i'd love to hear it <laughs> Monday comes and I wonder where you are Phone is quiet, there's no sign of your car Something wrong or are you taking a break? When silence rules, my heart begins to ache Sometimes sleep don't come easy Your face keeps rolling And turn and imagine the worst. My head should know you're more than likely fine. Sometimes sweet don't come easy. Two days later, you knock on my door. Say you miss me, but I'm never sure. All seems well, there was no reason to fret But something tells me your eyes are still wet Sometimes sleep don't come easy Face keeps rolling through my mind I 
showcase and you're listening to Rosewood Creek. Get more info on rosewoodcreekband.com and you're hearing songs from their newly released album American Sojourn. I said it right this time. Yes. yes. <laughs> American Sojourn and you can still get a copy. I think we still have one copy left. Autograph copy. So give us a call 813-239-9663. And of course, we know Bonnie is a teacher. Yes. Teaches psychology, I but I totally forgot to mention that Marty is also a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's right. But he teaches music. Tell me a little, a little bit about that. Right. I, I teach uh, uh, guitar and ukulele and, and bass. Uh, and, and, and in a pinch, I can teach uh, a little beginning piano and, and uh, I can teach you the uh, basic scales on the uh, violin, or in my hand, it's called a fiddle. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I, we started a, a little music school in St. Pete about three and a half years ago, and we've got about a hundred students now, I guess, and, and six or seven folks teaching there. Some great, nice. great young people teaching and, and handing it down. I was listening to the uh, fun drive last week, and I saw, heard that uh, uh, Reverend Billy, uh, $250 for a piano lesson. I would pay that for a <laughs> piano lesson. He's awesome. <laughs> yes, He's he great. is. Well, I grew up taking bargain. piano lessons. I think he would be a much more fun piano yeah, teacher yeah. than the <laughs> one I had. But I always <laughs> want to say Marty was my bass teacher. Aww. Yes, Bonnie, we used to do a blues jam over here in, uh, in Tampa uh, about five or six years ago, seven. And uh, on a break, we didn't have any bass players. We had a slew of guitarists and drummers, but no bass players. So I saw on, on break, I said... Okay, here's how you, how you play the walking bass. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. You thought about picking up the upright? I would love to. Mm, it looks great. Though. <laughs> I have to buy another whole vehicle to transport it to gigs. Well, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> well, um, so we've got, uh, I'm sorry, Colin, mm -hmm. you are an engineer as well. I am. Did you work on the album? Oh, yes. Um, as far as recording engineering is concerned, um, we recorded um, all but two of the songs in my home studio, and I did the uh, audio engineering on that, yeah. Nice. And you did the mastering as well, or did you send that off somewhere else? No, I did it too. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, I, d I did get a chance to listen to the album. Loved it. You definitely are going to enjoy it when you get it in the mail, guys. And, of course, uh, if you haven't had a chance to win one of the albums today, you could go to rosewoodcreekband.com or just go to the CD release party on July 23rd. And are you guys going to have any for sale at the Americana Fest? 
Yes, we'll bring some. Definitely ah. have a merch, merch table there. We have some cool T-shirts. Okay. Too. Limited amount or, or like you'll make sure you'll have enough for everyone? <laughs> well, we'll we have lots of CDs, only a handful of T-shirts. So if you want a T-shirt, you have to... Uh, jump for them quickly. Oh, well then June 18, WMNF presents Americana Fest, and that is at Skipper's Smokehouse. Get all the details on WMNF.org. You can also see the details on RosewoodCreekBand.com. And we're coming close to the uh, end of our time, so I would really love to end our day, our show, with some music. Which one do you want to do? Yeah, that one. You want to switch? Mm. Or you want to just do this? So, okay, this is going to require a quick costume change this will be oh. our last song and you're going to go out on this one okay yeah we can do okay. that because <laughs> colin, colin brought his lap steel and it's a shame to have it just sit there oh so nice yeah set that one up this is a cover though um we do some covers when we play out around town um so this is a uh, lucinda williams this is cover. this is written by randy weeks uh yeah, who used to be in lonesome strangers and uh but it's a lucinda williams we've got it off a of lucinda williams record and we're big lucinda fans and I think uh, had it not been for WMNF, I might not know who Lucinda Williams is. So, <laughs> so once again, radio stations played a big part in my life in the mm -hmm. last 30 years. There you go. What's the name of the song? Can't Let Go. Can't Let Go. And I'm while do my best to do it in Shauna's absence. <laughs> and while you're getting ready for that, I just want to give one more shout out. WMNF is a listener-supported commercial-free radio station, and tips are accepted. Visit WMNF.org slash support and leave a tip for the live music showcase, the show that plays music you didn't know you wanted to hear. Take it away, Colin. One. Fish out of water, a cat up a tree. You don't even wanna talk to me. It was over. I know it, but I can't let go. He won't take me back when I come around. Says sorry, then he puts me out. I got a big chain round my neck and I'm broken down like a train wreck. It's over. I know it, but I can't let go. I got a candle burn so bright in my the night was over I know it but I can't let go You don't like to see me hanging around Feel like I've been shot then fall down it was over I know it but I can't let go He won't take me back when I come around Says he's sorry then he puts me out I got a big chain around my neck And I'm broken down like a train wreck it was over no, but I can't let go. Come on. Trouble, I could turn off a light. You went off and left me, and it just ain't right. It was over. I know it, but I can't let go. Around every corner, something to see. Take me right back to how I used to be. It was over. I know it, but I can't let go. He won't take me back when I come around. Says he's sorry that he puts me out. I got a big chain around my neck, and I'm broken down. You won't take me back when I come around Says I'm sorry, then he puts me out I got a big chain around the neck And I'm broken down like a train wreck It was over, I know it, but I 